Hey guys, so recently we got a big widescreen monitor for my wife's work and I've been using it to edit some of these videos on YouTube. Um, when we first got it, we hooked it up and couldn't get the resolution to display correctly on the screen um, and it took four hours <laughs> trying to figure it out and I googled, I searched throughout YouTube and no one came up with the solution I did. I actually discovered it by accident through the Samsung website because it's a Samsung monitor. Downloading the drivers, which is one of the things you're told to do. But if you're having issues, you ordered um, either a widescreen monitor, we had the 42 and the 49, um, or you're connecting your monitor to a TV, um, a flat screen TV or something that's not a generic computer monitor, follow this video and you'll see what exactly you need to do. Um, and it's so like right in your face, you'd like laugh when you figure out the solution. All right, we don't go over to my wife's office. Um, and take a look at her monitor and how I solved this um, very popular issue. The monitor, the Beast, the 49 inch Samsung Odyssey. Uh, I'm gonna go right in and it's sleeping right now. I'm gonna go unlock it. This is like primarily a gaming monitor. And this is what you'll see when you first um, connect this to a regular PC. Um, and this is the um, one of the things you'll see. You get like a full band. Um, Cross the screen here. You can't really do anything with this screen because it's just super flat. You could change the scaling, but it kind of keeps the um, the format as is. Uh, you could change the display resolution all you want. It's just gonna get weird and weirder and weirder. Like it fills out the screen, but it zooms everything in, so the screen is actually like that and like that. Um, one of the solutions to this is it's a gaming monitor. You have to think about that. Um, but using it as a PC, so what you do is you hit that, you go into the monitor menu. Um, I have a Samsung monitor, you can do this with any uh, type of monitor, whether you have an L LG brand or a Sony brand, whatever. They should have a menu here on that monitor itself, the hardware button. And I'm going to go right into and select uh, system. And I want to put my monitor onto PC mode. Right now, my HDMI cable is what's connecting my PC to the monitor. So I'm going to select HDMI 1. That's the um, port I'm using. And I'm going to make sure that's set to PC. And it's going to do some adjustments. So right off the bat, it's, it makes the font and everything crisp. But I still have the problem with the band there. I'm going to go back into system, the system menu. And I'm going to go down because my HDMI port is probably still scaling like if I'm playing a video game or if I'm connecting to uh, like a PS4, PS5 or something like that. And I'm going to select, I'm going to scale down my HDMI mode because my PC is a work PC. It's not a fancy graphics, it's not a high graphics PC. I'm going to scale it down from 2.0 to HDMI 1.4. Give it a minute. And boom, so I have my full monitor here. So let's go over that again close up so you can see the details of what I'm doing. On any brand monitor, whatever brand you have, go into the menu of that monitor. And in the menu, you want to go into system. And your target here is the PC AV mode. Every monitor should have this. Um, you want to make sure it's, if you plug in a PC, it has to be set to PC that port you're using. I'm using HDMI 1. It's preset to AV because, like I said, this is a gaming monitor out the box, so make sure it's set to PC. Next target is going to be my uh, HDMI mode. I want it to be set to 1.4. Here, I'm going to open up uh, Google to show you guys, Google Chrome. So everything's crisp and clear. I don't have to do anything to the display settings. I just leave that alone. Go to Google. I'm gonna go into my um, my Facebook. So something that you guys all use, uh, Facebook. Oh, I actually have uh, my notifications are already there. So it scales everything up perfectly. Everything fits in the monitor now. There's no issues, and all of this is going into the hardware button. It's not really a software issue with the PC. It's more the monitor, how the monitor reads whatever PC you have connected to this. Uh, so that's kind of how it looks, and um, let me go into, I don't really use Facebook, but just so sure you guys can get the gist of it, how it looks. Um, really beautiful monitor. My wife does this for accounting, and she does uh, these spreadsheets 
I primarily do it, I like to edit my videos on here. It gives me a, a bit of um, um, landscape for video editing, so it's uh, pretty, pretty cool. Alright guys, so that's it. Easy peasy. Hardware button, and you just set your monitor to read the PC properly instead of going into your PC menus and downloading drivers and all that stuff. That's all you need.